King, King, King! All right, guys, we are here. I'm just gonna put some of these cleats on for safety. Beautiful morning. Bit of a wind from behind us and get a nice casting distance. Swells relatively low, like, but you know, when it's super, super calm, generally the bite's a bit tougher. Just need to finesse it a little bit more in terms of your in terms of your lure choice and your profiles and your leaders and whatnot, but that's pretty much it guys. Gives us one more safety barrier so we don't slip around on those slippery rocks. They work really well in um in the sandstone ledges. You all good bro? You right? Yeah. Maybe pepper the side for a minute or two and then we'll go across. Hey, small. Good morning guys, welcome to another episode of Fishing with Marky Mark and let's go fishing. This one here, a bit of a roller. Another roller. Yeah, I'd rather this disturbance than it's absolutely glass, you know? It's not like a death one, you know, it's just, it's good. In summer, that's what you want when it's hot. It's the lure. Did you hear? I saw him. Oh, just here. I uh, couldn't tell. Maybe a small king or a salmon. He just missed my lure. Oh, he missed the top water, man. How did you miss the lure? He launched out of it, out of the water, and he missed it. Right there. Yeah. Looked like a, a small king or a, or a medium salmon. I might work it a bit slower so he doesn't miss it next time. Oh, guys, he missed it. Good sign that there's some fish here at least. Yeah. They're really deceiving. So just because you can't tell whether they no. can break or not. No. I'd rather retreat for a second, you know? Yeah, of course. Oh! <laughs> king, king, king! Oh. It's legal, bro. Oh, that's legal. that's legal, boys. Woo Get in there. Look at him go. What a guy. I'm so happy. I haven't had a top water hookup in so long. It's been winter and first one of the season. Thank you very much, mate. Thank you. And I haven't kept the fish in such a long time. So this guy will be sashimi with the family. Thank you so much, mate. Uh, my buddy's out there, hopefully he gets one too. And I will just be over the moon if he hooks up. That made my morning guys. He hit literally right in front on top water. Now I just want my buddy to get one too. 
right at my feet. Wish I had a bit more of a fight. Didn't let him run because he was literally right at my feet. If he was out a bit more, he would have provided some good fun. But regardless, great way to start the morning. Got the heart pumping out here in the fresh air. On top, at my feet. I wish it was a bit further out so I could provide a bit more of a fight. Yeah, yeah, of course. But literally right here, I just I was like, what the hell? I was treating it like it was one meter. You just never know. No, no. Yeah, seriously, yeah, done. I'm I'm using 60 pound liter, so not like crazy heavy. Uh, Let me have a feel. Yeah, it's enough. It's enough. It's not like cold, but it's not warm. It's that lukewarm, you know. We're on. Feels. Kingfishy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, just pulled hooks. Oh, no. Just kingfishy, kingfishy. I saw the lure fly out. I thought that was the fish. I was like, what's going on? It was kingfish. Just yanked him too hard. I was kingfish though, because he was swimming deep. He wasn't yeah. coming up. Maybe about seventy. It wouldn't go bigger than that. Hey, there's a school of them though. It didn't feel as heavy, but it didn't feel like a rat. It felt like a legal rat. Yeah, like 70. A bit more yeah, just 65, 70 mark. More well yeah, a bit more cluey. Go the Maria Re Rise. Slow sinking. This really nice color. How good is that, guys? He's pulling drag? He's pulling drag. No, he's not pulling drag. Oh. There you go. Drag. Oh, Damn, that's okay. Oh, Too tight, man. Well, I'm on for oh yeah. <laughs> you never know, right? You never know. He's a nice little lollipop, eh? What's that on the Rapala? Yeah, that's one of the new ones I got. That looks nice. What, 100 mil? Yeah, 100 mil. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, I've got my um big plies. If you can't get rid of it, it's on my back. Kingy? Wow, wow. Watch the swell. Did you see them? Yeah, I saw them. I was too far out. That's a bit bigger. Way bigger. Yeah, whole school. I saw, I saw. Literally all of them came right like five meters from On the little Rapala. How good is that? A little 100 mil. They literally all take them. But yeah, good mixed bag. So far within the hour we've been fishing. Very, very productive. Even though the water's cold, there's a lot of it's a big bait ball holding out 200 meters out from us. So hopefully we can get like stragglers that are following one sort of bait fish and um, getting lost a little bit and we can get a hook up. It's my theory anyway, keeps them motivated for uh, to keep casting. The outfit I'm using today guys is a P sort of P3 to 4 um, running a 6000 Stella HG with P3 Yamatoya line. I think it breaks around that 50 pound using 60 pound leader. Saltiga N type and the Maria Slow Rise sinking. I think it's like 55 grams stick bait. I'll give you guys a show right now. Sort of looks like a yakka from the tops and bottoms. It's like a copper in color and it's got this nice flash on the side. Sun's not out completely yet. It's a lot of cloud cover. So wood is not, might not be the best, but it really does work well in sunlight. Uh, rod I'm using as well is a Lox Ambassador Shore Game. It's a P3 to 5, but I think truly it's a P3 to 4. Um, when I compare it to the feel of a lot of other rods, which is great for the work sort of I'm doing off the Sydney Stones. 10 foot, 
get a nice cast out of it. Um, loads up really well and sort of the power sort of kicks into that midsection. Um, with longer rods, it's a bit harder to steer the fish, but less fatigue, better lure work, better cast. So, you know, you got to give up some stuff to, to gain some stuff in different areas. Be a very lovely rod. I'll keep casting, guys. I'll put on the camera to hook up and we'll go from there. Thank you so much for watching. Guys, we're taking off this 55 grams one. We're going to put on a 70 gram one just so we can get out there. Very nice stick bait though, nice colour. I might go back to it. I'm just going to keep it out here. Same profile in this colour here, but this is the Sinking 130S. 70 grams, get out there a bit further. See if I can get close to that bait school. I've had good luck on this one too. It does have a, a glow, glow strips in them, so when the sun hits it, it looks nice underwater. So I'm going to use that. Put that back. Um, using this one here, hook them support the channel, hook them lure boxes, waterproof, put heaps of lures in there, and not too bulky, which is really nice. So thank you so much, Hooker, for supporting on the channel. And uh, let's get out there, guys. Let's give this one a crack. And I put in a single here. I think it just frees up the back a little bit better. I've had no problems with the stock trebles that they come with. Come with good splits, good uh, stock trebles. I think owners. Um, and then I put this uh, single by decoy. I forgot what size, but it swims really nicely. Just gives it a nice kick. Oh, that was a nice hit, bro. I got on camera, yeah, I saw that beautiful. If you need assistance, let me know. If not, I'll just keep filming. Yeah, I saw, I saw on the right, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, maybe a small king out here, man. Sandbogle? He's not really fighting hard, man. If he's, if he's, if his swim is down, he's more like a king. If he's more lateral, feel free to walk down if you like, because it's pretty chill. Keep going, keep going. Not a tailor, definitely. It's either a king or a salmon. Yeah, swimming down. Keep going. Get his head up. Yeah, it's a king. There's a king, brother. Oh, yeah. Little ratty. Oh, there's a couple. There's actually a couple. Yeah, I was following him. You're good with the sets, man. I saw a couple following. You're just right there. That is so funny. On a hard body. First, isn't it? Normally on jigs and squid jigs, but never on a hard body. Very cool. Maybe the jig failed? Maybe a foul hook? But it has... Oh no, it is, yeah. I thought so. It's something small. What is it? What is that? Rock cod! Yeah. You, you hit the bottom. Yeah. That's what I wanted to do. Oh! Red rock cod. I knew I had something, but it wasn't big. He's red, man. Yeah, just don't touch him, huh? Yeah. They're really poisonous spines, but... um. They're called like a uh, poor man's lobster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really tasty fish, but big spines on the top. I have to get rid of you, buddy. I knew, I felt it, because like... He's not happy, eh? He looks angry. <laughs> yeah. He looks angry. <laughs> you got big quiet, man. So guys, that's today's session. Uh, we're going to conclude it. We're just packing up now. 
I've just processed the kingfish. Uh, we're ready to go home. We've got a little bit of a walk back home uh, to the car, sorry. And then go home is pretty quick, 10 minutes. Um, so other than that, guys, really nice day as you can see. Um, it turned out pretty good. There is a little bit of timing out there, even though it's not really choppy or swelly. There was a bit of timing, so you do have these surges of water. Other than that, guys, really good day, really good morning. Couple of hours out here on the stones, got some fresh air. And that's about it, guys. We're going to conclude it now. If you enjoyed the video, guys, make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and share it with mates. Until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching and tight lines. Cheers.